Hello everyone. I am Astha Best and I am a computer science undergraduate student from Dehradun, India. For the past six months, I've been working on building a declarative specification for workloads under the Hyperledger Caliper project. Attila has been the mentor during the past six months for this project and he has been an amazing guide. Coming to the more detailed parts, so a bit of an introduction about Hyperledger Caliper. It is a framework for benchmarking blockchain systems. When Hyperledger Caliper is run over a blockchain system, the system is subjected to a large number of transactions. And towards the end, a report is generated with all the relevant benchmarking parameters. Now for these transactions, each of them is created or say initialized by a workload module. This project focuses on simplifying the implementation of those workload modules for the people who are using Caliper. So currently the workload modules have to be written in JavaScript and there are a lot of things to take care of during that. So this project focuses on building out a more declarative specification for workload modules and trying to convert it into more of a low code solution. Coming to how a declarative specification differs from one written in code. So this is how a part of the workload module looks when it is written in JavaScript. All the relevant parameters here are initialized. And then there's a contract function that's also declared. And all of these, all of this information is sent through to the system under test. Uh, and this is only a small fraction of what the workload module looks like. There are also other parameters like Caliper's own internal parameters, and then there are also things that the user defines that have to be either modified or passed into the transaction. So this can get a little bit more detailed. So in order to make it simpler, a declarative specification was our idea of implementing this solution. Here, there are on the lower level parameters that go into a transaction. There are also functions associated with those parameters and contracts that may be present in the system that is being tested under Caliper. So this cuts down the implementation to just specifying what is required rather than handling everything else as well. Coming to project objectives. So the first objective was to build the YAML schema that had to be that has to be implemented. And this was done just to give an idea of how things would flow inside the project. But based on that, a modular implementation for how parameters would go was created. The third objective was to integrating and testing uh, how the values defined using YAML schema and implemented using the modular classes uh, would work out in Caliper's environment. The fourth objective is to migrating uh, existing workloads or say existing tests that are proven to work within Caliper's environment to this new schema. And the fifth is to provide user documentation and developer level documentation for people who intend to use uh, Caliper's declarative schema. Coming to project deliverables, they are more of a breakdown of the already explained objectives. So first was, again, building out the schema, then building out the value providers. So these are associated with the likely parameters or the kind of parameters that you know, might be sent through to a transaction. The third deliverable was testing out these value providers thoroughly because there might be a lot of edge cases in a declarative schema. Like, for example, a 
the minimum range of random number provided might be greater than the maximum range provided. The fourth deliverable is integrating the schema through higher level classes. So since these are just the value providers and the parameters that might be used, there are also functions and contracts to look after. The fifth deliverable is migrating existing workload to the schema. Again, the tests that have been proven to work with Caliper uh, have to be written in terms of the schema. And the sixth is creating documentation. Coming to project execution. So I started out the project by looking into other tools that were doing similar things. So these consisted of uh, blockchain benchmarking tools and also load testing frameworks. So most of them were either using scripts to declare the parameters, which is similar to code, and or they were just using very minimalistic configurations, like passing in a CSV file to stream the user-defined parameters that might be there. So it was mostly code-based configurations in that area. So what we were trying to do here kind of ended up being different from what was already done. The second was creating a YAML schema. The third was building out classes and testing how values went within that YAML schema and how the edge cases were being handled. Uh, the fourth deliverable is something I'm still working on and it's integrating uh, the schema through function and contract classes. Uh, I also intend to work on fifth and sixth deliverables, uh, which is testing it through something that has already worked out and writing user and developer documentation. I expect to complete these by the end of November. Coming to recommendations for future works, there can be more complex value providers under Caliper, like weighted Boolean values or randomly generated string. The value providers right now are relatively simpler, but I hope there can be more complex ones so that it's easier to define values. Coming to the second point, the current schema is more platform oriented. So we started out with taking the reference of a fabric integration test in order to build out the initial schema and uh, it doesn't take into account how, say, the same system might work for Ethereum. So this is something that is worth looking into. And the third point is scheduling of contracts and functions, uh, like round robin instead of just randomly picking them out. So these are the recommendations. Coming to the outputs, these are all links associated with the project. Uh, the initial project proposal, the project plan that was written after I got accepted into the mentorship. Uh, this is the declarative workload directory that consists of the results of all value providers that were written. And the final is the pull requests that were put in during the mentorship program. Uh, coming to insights, I learned a lot during this project. And one of them was, one of those things was that the solution would not come out to be perfect on the first try and things have to be improved iteratively. Also, I learned a lot about good coding practices in code documentation, a little bit of GitHub magic and considering a lot of edge cases while uh, writing your code and testing it out again. And figuring out where things can go wrong. And yes, a lot of thinking outside the box. So and if I had to give an advice for other mentees or someone new to open source, it would be to communicate a lot and also plan out things a lot. And that was all from my side. I am now open to any questions. Thank you. Um, I do see your mentor, Atla Clinic, on Zoom. 
Do you have yeah. any comments? Mm -hmm. Yes, I would just like to add that uh, Asta performed a lot of complex uh, tasks yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of challenges during this uh, mentorship. I mean, she performed surveys of other tools and uh, essentially designed the domain specific language for workloads. And uh, from that, he, uh, she created the modular sub framework inside of Caliper. So I think uh, it was really challenging and it was a lot of work for her, but she uh, did it uh, admirably. And uh, I would just like to say congratulations. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see that uh... Uh, as the, uh, persisted and even though the, you know, the project was fairly challenging and big scopes and, and it sounded like she learned a lot and there's still one or two items uh, to be worked on during the remaining months. And I hope that uh, Aista, you will stay uh, involved in the uh, Hyperledger community. We'll hope to see your contributions uh, again in the near future. Yes, I plan to stay involved. Thank you so much. Yeah, and um, I, I, Min, I'd like to e echo that. Ashta, it's fantastic to see this work um, mm -hmm. and we look forward to further contributions from you. And uh, thank you, Attila, for mentoring Ashta as well. This is fantastic work.